Topeka keeps releasing really cool and fun AI tools. And the latest one is ingredients. And this is so fun because you can take a picture of yourself and put it in any kind of video. You can also have consistent outfits, consistent backgrounds, and consistent characters. We're gonna start on Pika.art. They have all these different templates here. So let's say you see one that you like and you wanna you want to be the person in this. So you click reprompt and you'll see that it'll take this setting here, this outfit, and then the person. So we can just swap this person out. So we're gonna click X there to get rid of that person. And then we're gonna click the plus sign here. And this is an AI image of me, but you get the idea. So now I've got these ingredients. And you can see this prompt is pretty generic and that's really helpful and I'll show you why. So it says a character wearing an outfit in a location, turning around and posing to the camera. Click this button over here to generate it. And then here's another template. And if you look at this one, if you reprompt this one to use it, there's really only the face and everything else is done with the prompt about Mount Fuji. So I'm just gonna um, click there. So let's do that, put my picture in and then generate this one. And this is what that looks like. So you can see it looks different than their sample video. Really that's all you do is you find a template that you like and then you reprompt. This one has a lot more stuff in it. So we've got a person, we've got a hat, we've got a cat, and we've got the coast. So I'm gonna replace the person with myself again. And I'm gonna replace the cat with a picture of my cat. If you've seen one of my other Pika videos, you've seen this cat get sliced like cake. And then I'll just keep their I'll keep their coast and their hat and I'll give that a shot. You know, if you notice this prompt says it's a model and it's a little more specific. So say she's holding, she's got long hair flowing in the wind. Uh, let's see what happens if I'm using this photo of me um, with that prompt. And there you go. You can also start from scratch by clicking ingredients. So the one thing to make sure is, is you're not doing image over here which is image to video, you're doing the elements over here. And then just clicking plus to upload different ingredients. Um, and then you'll reference those in your prompt. So for instance, here's some that I did. So here's a post-human couple that I'm using in a fiction podcast that I'm releasing in January. And I wanna put them in different environments. Let's put them in this kind of environment. So I'm just gonna say one Android with a face attached to a mechanical lattice head and a human wearing a hoodie and a biomechanical neck are in a place. So I'm just describing what this should be. And I don't even know if I need to, but I wanna make sure that I'm getting these elements in there. And then I can just continually update a different background image and it will always be those two people in a different place. And then I could even change the outfits. I just created this in mid journey really quick and I just said futuristic jacket product shot. So I think if you add like product shot for things like um, clothes, it's really helpful to just get the element that you're looking for. And I'm gonna make this the hoodie shot. Like there's a lot of different video generators out there, but I, I feel like Pika is making tools that people want to use to do really cool and fun things. All right, go make something fun with Pika ingredients. It's really fun to play around with.